What's up YouTube, Combat here, and today I want to talk about the leaked footage for Call of Duty People's Army. So, this is kind of the footage that somebody found, or I guess discovered, and shows us full working menus, and a lot of things that make us believe that Call of Duty People's Army is what Call of Duty 2017 is going to be called. Now, without freaking out too much, I don't think the actual title is going to be People's Army. I think that's the current working title for the game. I could be completely wrong, but we've seen it in the past. Uh, Black Ops 2, I believe, was named um, Iron Wolf. So I could see People's Army actually being a placeholder name until they figure out the real game name. Either way, I'm excited, because everything that we saw in this video looks legitimate. And I know, I know, I know, it might not be. Don't get my hopes super high. But there's a lot of clues in this video, and I'm going to link the video down below in the description. If it gets taken down, I am sorry, but I'll kind of describe the video. What it shows is just the main menu. It says press start. It says 2017 Activision Publishing, and it says Call of Duty People's Army. It very clearly shows that it's going to be a Call of Duty game. Then, on top of that, once you go into the main menu into the multiplayer screen, it shows a bunch of different menu items. And if you compare those menu items to what you see in Advanced Warfare, and sorry, I wish I had gameplay of Advanced Warfare, I just don't own the game anymore, so it's tough for me to get gameplay if I don't own the game. Regardless, the menus in that look the same as what we got in Advanced Warfare. You know, there's the Merchant there, which I believe is going to be this game's version of, you know, COD points and all that stuff. But it also shows all the different kind of, uh, it shows campaign, multiplayer, all these things. It shows barracks, and, and it just looks like what Sledgehammer released to us with... Uh, advanced Warfare. It's the same type of menus, it looks the same, and it looks like a game published in 2017. So, I don't understand how this footage got leaked, I don't understand how it got out there. But holy shit, if this is real, it's got me a little bit more hyped for this game. And I knew that I was going to get hyped for 2017, especially if they put in the past. But, when I saw this video, and when I saw this leakage, I was like, I, mm, I gotta, I gotta play this game. I gotta play it. It looks great. It looks like a classic Call of Duty game. It reminds me of the menu set that we had in COD 4 more than anything else. And I'm, oh, boy, am I excited for this game. I'm, I'm just looking at it. It looks and feels like the right tone and the right type of game for me, at least for a game that I'm gonna actually go out play and enjoy. I. I'm excited for it. I really hope this is true. I really hope they're not teasing us. I really hope that this is actually what we're going to get. Once again, I don't know if People's Army is going to be the actual title or if that's a working title. Either way, I'm okay with it, regardless of whether it's the working title or the real title. All I want to see is a Vietnam era game. I want to see it not be set in the future, and it looks like we're not going to get that. Part of me believes that maybe Call of Duty leaked this on their own to kind of settle some tensions, maybe bring some people into the back into the uh, <laughs> back into the series by saying, "Hey, this is going to be the next game," but only a little bit of leaked footage because we know in the past normally leaked footage is actually coming straight from the publishers. Look at the Deadpool leak footage that was released in like I think 2012, which is all like pre-done footage. It was actually in the movie, and it actually got a lot of backing so they could actually make that movie and it's one of my favorite movies from this year. Regardless, I believe in this game. I believe that we're going to get what we want. Now it's just up to Sledgehammer to actually deliver what we want. Um, you know, you can put a game in the past, you can make it look and, and seem like it's going to be an old Call of Duty game, but if you don't make it play like COD 4, World at War, Black Ops 1, those types of games, you're not doing anything to help the franchise. Regardless, regardless of the time era, regardless of that, it still needs to be a good game. It still needs to be fun, it still needs to have exhilarating multiplayer, it needs to have a good campaign, it needs to have a really good third option. So guys, I want to know what you guys think. Go watch that video, let me know if you think that Call of Duty People's Army is going to be real or not. I'd be very interested to see what you guys think. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, Combat signing off. Peace.